Hello, and today I am going to be recapping the finale of Deal or No Deal Island. Why I didn't recap episode 11 last week was because that episode ended on a cliffhanger, and I thought it would be fitting for the finale to merge episodes 11 and 12 into one recap video, if that makes any sense. So for episode 11, the episode starts out with the four remaining players talking about who they're playing for back at home. Both Boss and Rob and Amy said they were playing for their family. Stephanie said she was playing for fertility rights in the state of Alabama, and Jordan said she was playing to try to start a family. After that, a case drops into the water which Boss and Rob retrieves, and it tells them to head to the final excursion. For the Final Four excursion, it was basically a giant maze. Before they had to go in the maze, the contestants had to solve a number combination puzzle, which would then give them a map. Once they got the map, they would then enter the maze and try to get a key. Once they got their key ring at the opposite side of the maze, they could choose to either use the keys to unlock a lower valued case, which is easier to get, or unlock a higher valued case, which is harder and more out of the way to get. This final excursion also came with a twist. The twist being, this was a double elimination excursion. This meant the last person to exit the maze with a case and the person who got the lowest valued case from that excursion will both be eliminated from the game. For the number combination puzzle, the question at the beginning was, how many total cases were retrieved by the players? Amy was the first to get it correct, with the answer being 75, as she then got her map and went into the maze. And from there, Boston Rob made a terrible mistake, as he was caught peeking at Amy's answer, which was against the banker's rules. As a penalty for being wrong, he will be the last person to go into the maze, and after that third person goes into the maze, there will be a time limit for when he can enter. With that time limit being the time difference between the first and second person to go into the maze. After which, Stephanie got her combination correctly and entered the maze three minutes after Amy. Which was also the same three minute penalty that was given to Boston Rob. Jordan then solved her puzzle and got her map, and after she entered the maze, the three minute penalty started for Boston Rob. Despite the time advantage Amy had, Stephanie and Jordan quickly caught up to her, with those three all getting their keys at around the same time. Then Boston Rob entered the maze and started to quickly catch the other three. Despite being the third person to enter the maze, Jordan was the first one to leave the maze and with a case with Stephanie following soon after. From there, it was a close neck and neck race between Amy and Boston Rob as for who would be the third person out of the maze. With that close finish being the cliffhanger to what I was mentioning earlier, now on to episode 12, aka the real finale. Where it was then revealed that Amy was the third person to leave the maze, which meant that Boston Rob was eliminated from the game. After Boss and Rob was eliminated, the three remaining women then opened their cases. Where it was then revealed that Stephanie had the lowest valued case of the three, which meant that she was eliminated alongside Boss and Rob as well. Now with our final two being Jordan and Amy, the two faced off in one final challenge, with the winner of that challenge being able to face the banker and winning any amount of money they get in the game of Deal or No Deal. With that final excursion being the two are situated on opposite ends of tightrope, where they then have to grab dangling ropes to move across the tightrope. With the first person to grab the red rope in the center being the person to face off against the banker in the final game of Deal or No Deal. And if it wasn't already obvious, Jordan ended up beating Amy in that challenge. With Jordan being the last person left standing, we then get to see the banker finally meet Stephanie in person, where it was then revealed that the banker himself was none other than Deal or No Deal's original host, Howie Mandel. For the final game of Deal or No Deal, all 12 previously eliminated contestants return to the temple in support of Jordan's game. For the final game of Deal or No Deal, there were 22 cases in play, with the 11 cases on the right all being the highest valued cases that were retrieved from all excursions. And with the final case being valued at a total of $13,857,000 being the most valuable case, 
in the game. Jordan ended up picking case number 19 because 19 was the same jersey number that her husband wore when playing college baseball. For the first round, she opened six cases, eliminating three values from the left side of the board and three values from the right side of the board, where her offer at the end of the first round was only $203,000, to which she said no deal to. For the second round, Jordan had to open five cases, where she eliminated two cases from the right side of the board and three from the left side where her second offer was $607,000, to which she said no deal to. For the third round, she then had to open only three cases, which were all unfortunately on the right side of the board. But despite that, her next value went up at $1,197,000, which she surprisingly said no deal to. For the fourth round, she had to open only two cases, with one case being a low value of $25 and the other being the big amount, the $13,857,000 final case. Despite that big blow, her next offer went up slightly, at $1.23 million, which she ended up taking the deal to. And since she accepted the deal, that meant that the $1.23 million was all hers. After winning the $1.23 million, we get a scene of how Jordan is living her life after winning the money, where it was then revealed that she used the money to pay for fertility treatments and finally start a family. And from there, the whole season ends. As for my opinions on the finale, I thought Jordan was a very deserving winner. And in fact, she was the one who I wanted to see win the most out of everyone in the final four. And seeing that she used the money to pay for fertility treatment to start the family she always wanted just felt like a very heartwarming ending to the season. I'm probably going to make another video doing a more in-depth review of the whole series, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.